So in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five favorite tips you should do in order to free as much storage as possible. Yo, what's up guys? Apple Design here, back with another video. So yeah, today let's talk about your iPhone storage. I think we've all been in a situation where we were just looking at our iPhone storage and it was just going up and up and up. And yeah, we actually just waited until the max capacity was reached. I know that if you have a 64 gig iPhone, probably your storage is going to get filled up pretty quickly. Normally at 128 or 256 gigabytes, you should be good. But still with all the videos we're taking, all the apps and series we're downloading, the storage can pop up pretty quickly. All right, now let's dive into the video. Okay, so the first thing I recommend you to do is go to your photos and we need to delete or move as many videos as we can. Videos actually take the majority of the storage on your iPhone. So a quick and easy way to do this is go to your album. Within albums, you scroll down you go to videos and in here you should look at the videos that are pretty long and you know you don't need anymore maybe crop out the most important parts or just delete them or maybe just airdrop them to your mac and put them maybe on an external disk but yeah videos is taking up so much storage let's just have a look at this one minute and 30 second video so yeah as you can see here this is already taking up 130 megabytes which is insane for like just one minute and 30 seconds of video so a second thing you should do is delete apps you're actually not using anymore so if we go for example to settings we go to general in general we go to iphone storage and in here you can actually see the apps that are using the most most of your storage photos is huge as i just mentioned because plenty of videos are stored there also if you're using whatsapp all the videos that you receive from other people are stored there as well so that's also a thing you should have a look at next what i wanted to show you is like apps that you're probably not using for example GarageBand. i don't use this app it takes up 1.6 gigs i'm gonna delete this app and i can just reinstall it whenever i need it but i just know i'm not gonna use it so yeah the same actually for imovie i'm not using this app it takes up half a gig of storage let's delete that as well you should actually check especially the top apps that are taking most of the space and just delete them you can download them if you want in the future again but right now if you want to clean up some storage you should definitely Definitely delete those okay so third is actually movies and series you have downloaded and stored locally on your iPhone right now I actually removed all of them already maybe you have downloaded series on Netflix or on Amazon Prime or Apple TV plus actually these are taking a huge amount of storage delete the ones that you're actually not using anymore I can remember in the past that like my Netflix downloads were huge I had like 20 gigs of series downloaded and it was just taking such big amount of space so yeah make sure to have a look at that normally it should also be listed in your iphone storage list and you probably see netflix somewhere on top check out the movies and series you downloaded and you actually already watch just delete them fourth thing you should do to clear up that stubborn storage is go to safari and then in here scroll all the way down and then you here have clear history and website data so for some people like they never actually cleared this and it can take up a couple of gigs actually so yeah in the past this would also remove like all your safari tabs but with the latest update you're actually able to keep your tabs which is amazing so this only clears the cookies the data the browser history yeah it's actually pretty useful to do from time to time and if you haven't done this in the past this could actually have a very big impact on your storage and my fifth tip is to remove emails if we have a look at our storage you can see that mill now is taking up around 1.3 gigs and most of it is not the app itself but the documents and data in the emails and mostly these are the attachments so yeah what i really recommend is that you go through your mailbox and just delete emails with a big file size with attachments that have maybe videos or photos in it these are stored on your iphone as well and just take up a huge chunk of space if there are emails that you know are just irrelevant to you small messages as well eh? these are also taking up space not that much but yeah we all know that the emails with big attachment can just take up 20 30 megabytes and just doing that over and over can really fill up your space so yeah i hope this was helpful make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for the next video see you in the next one guys peace